Let's look at how to use Pivot in Excel. Here is a file that talks about a company's products and their market, which is the city, and the year, and sales. So for different combinations of product, city, and the year, we have some sales. Looking at this information is very hard for us to uh, recognize how the sales occur at different cities in different years. So I want to look at this data in different ways. So this can be done using what we call the pivot table. So if you click on data, you should see pivot table here. And let's create a manual pivot table. If you're using Windows version, you don't see that option. You can directly do them. It's a manual pivot table. When you click on that, typically you should uh, it will ask you to choose the data that you want to analyze. So in this case, it is not picking up the data. So I have to pick up, uh, highlight the data. Once you highlight the data, you can automatically see uh, what is the data range. And you want it in a new worksheet or existing worksheet. If you click existing worksheet, you probably would like see that uh, pivot table of format to come up on the side, but let's say new worksheet and say okay. So you should see this kind of setup where you have, if you want something in the row, you put it here. If you want something in the column here, and the data is going to be here. So let's see, we need the product in the row. So you, it takes a distinct products like cola, juice, and milk. And you want to see in different cities, I can drag and put it in column. So all the different cities come up here in the column. And I'm interested in sales. So I can drag the sales and put it here. And you have many different options. It recognizes it's a, it has to be summed up. So it is sum of sales. At times you want to look at the count or the average or minimum. You can click on this and you can find different options. Now I would like to see uh, this data for different product by year. I can drag the year and drop it here. So automatically it now says cola for different years and this is the sale. For juice, same thing. If you don't like the year to be on, in the row, I can directly drop it to the column. It separates rear and just the whole data accordingly. If you like the year to be a filter, I can put it here. So the year, you can find that in the row, in the uh, row number one, and it picks up all, but if you like to see only specific ones, so I say, I want only 2001, I go there and select that. So likewise, I want for 2002, it picks it up. So you could have different filters as well. So you can give any data that has different dimensions. So like product, city, year are dimensions. And you have to look at whole number of measures like sales, cost of goods sold, marketing expense. These are all measures, some value for different dimensions. So you can rearrange for different dimensions what are the values for various measures. And that's the way you use the pivot table.